What is going on you guys? It is your boy Virgil here and welcome back to another episode here on Dragon Ball Legends. Today uh, I'm going to be covering the breakdown for all the new units that are dropping tonight including the LF Jiren, the Beerus, and both the EXs, Topo and Dispo. Uh, we just got the data mines a couple minutes ago, and I'm basically just going to be going through everything that we're receiving along with the kits. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you do have any videos to the channel. Uh, the arts are looking so freaking good, by the way. Um, oh my goodness, dude. As you can see, the the god, the goats is in the background there of the Jiren arts. Um, Y'all know what that means, man, but... So you can see we're getting both of these. We're getting a new world challenge raid for MVP 17 next, which is pretty neat. Uh, this is the banner right here. It's called the Full Might. All right, interesting. Um, some info about story here. We're getting an upgrade to the Ghibli. He goes Super Saiyan God, but look at this art, bro. This art is super sick. So we're getting a uh, new addition to the story here. Super Saiyan God Giblet. Giblet and uh yeah we're gonna go through it here this might this is a new item not sure if it's a platinum item or not but i would assume so more sales this is the actual banner right here uh sparking rates 20 percent double the z power thankfully um if it was anything less i would not recommend to summon at all whatsoever uh but they did step it up a bit and finally dropped a lf banner with a you know a uh, two new units that are it's not just the EXs and the LF. We got a 1% sparking, which is the Beerus there. And they featured LFs, uh, Zamasu, UI Goku, and the SSB Vegeta. And we got, so let's just immediately jump into kits here. Opening pages. So this is the Jiren kit right here. So Jiren full power. Main ability. Does not matter how high you climb, I will not lose. Randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws ultimate arts card. Burst impact next. Restores on your, your own health by 30%, key by 30. Applies the attribute upgrade, minus 50 to enemy sustained damage cut effects to self for 15 timer counts. Enemies inflicted with faints, plus 42 ultimate damage inflicted for... Okay, interesting. So I'm assuming that uh, Jiren does the faint, right? He's going to have some type of faint mechanics here because he's getting more ult damage from that. But health, key, uh, minus 50 to, stay, uh, to enemy sustained damage cut is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. It's okay. Um, jumping into the first unique here, Burning Ultimate Warrior, 20% to blast damage against Tag San. Sans, it's always nice, you know, the majority of the units in the game are Sans, or the majority of the best units are Sans. Applies the following effects to self when battle starts, 90% to damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled. Reduces damage received by 40%, can be cancelled. And applies the following effects to self when this character ends the battlefield. Restores on key by 50, 40% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Activates four times. So every time he uh, gets into the battlefield here, he's getting key and he's getting the damage inflicted. Um, four times, all right, for 15 timer counts. Uh, reduces damage received by 30% for 15 timer counts. Activates four times. Cancels attribute upgrades in abnormal conditions. All right, well, that makes sense. Um... Applies the one of uh, health by 30, or restores on health by 35% when two allies are defeated, uh, which is pretty nice. So when um, he's on his own, he's going to be getting that health back. Uh, your unique ability to you, you are nothing in the face of my power. Applies the following effects itself when the enemy activates a rising rush. 40% to damage inflicted, can't be canceled, activates twice. 70% uh, to key recovery. This is basically what we've seen in the... Um, in the videos and stuff right here so uh base uh you're basically getting all these buffs when your enemy rising rushes i'm assuming it's this obviously this character when he rising rushes you're gonna get all these buffs um you get card draw speed key damage uh endurance um it's not gonna count if your unit nullifies endurance like a full power frieza or the lf goku black but um nonetheless he does have a conditional endurance which is what we knew. Knocks back enemy to long range to perform against a strike. So he has a strike cover. And it combos into blue cards. Inflicts enemy to add for downgrade. Okay, okay. Does mass explode damage. 30% to special move. Inflicted for three timer counts upon activation. Additional 70% to special move damage. Inflicted for three timer counts of enemies. Okay. Um, green card. Stores key by 50, 30% to blast damage inflicted for 20 counts, 30% chance to, in, uh, for next strike or blast to inflict, okay, there it is, so, um, he gets that chance to inflict 
faint um, from the green card. 30% is pretty, uh, pretty decent. Um, it also destroys all enemy cards on hit. So this is a uh, the pushback green card. Combos into all of these, which is really nice. Um, ultimate skill here deals supreme impact damage. And yeah, pause the volume flex to itself. 40% to ultimate damage inflicted. And nullifies endurance. Okay. Of course, he's buffing USS, Rival Universe, and Powerful Opponent. Um, overall, he looks okay. He looks really good. Um, we're going to have to see. He looks decent on paper, but that conditional endurance is always iffy. And um, he has a lot of damage inflicted buffs, some sustained damage cover, which is nice. And uh, so we're going to go into the next one here, which is the Beerus. Open in pages. Uh, so his main ability, Taste the Almighty Power. Draws a special arts card next. I'm expecting this Beerus to be really good, by the way. Um, restores on key by 30, increases his own arts card draw speed by 1. For 10 timer counts, applies the following effects. Shortens sub counts by 3. Uh, apply, nullifies enemy special. Uh, okay, nullifies cover change. This is a pretty nice main ability, I'm not going to lie. A special arts card is nice too. Five timer counts needs to elapse for you to pop this, by the way. So you can pop it immediately, pretty much. Uh, his first unique ability, Transcendent Power Level. The following effects occur when battle starts. 90% of damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Reduces damage received by 50% can't be cancelled. 30% to strike, uh, strike damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Um, wow. Increases the arts card draw speed by 1 for 80 timer counts. Can't be cancelled. Flicks all enemy with that's for downgrade. Plus 1 to substitution count. Then 50% to health restoration. Plus 5 to blast arts cost. Um, chain of Destruction. The following effects occur every time this character defeats an enemy. Increase on Dragon Balls by 1. Randomly draws at most 2 new cards when you have 3 of your cards reduced. Okay, so every time you uh, destroy, uh, finish off an enemy, you're getting those. The following effects occur every time faced with an enemy. 20% to next special move damage inflicted for 15 counts. 25% uh, percent to damage inflicted for 15 counts. Okay. Special move, Hakai. So it is the Hakai. Obviously, right? Deals massive explode damage, applies the volume effects itself. And yeah, he only has the nullify the revival with the blue card, as expected. Be pretty busted if he had it regularly. Um, yeah, so he nullifies endurance and nullifies revive with that. Okay, special skill. Restores on health by 15, key by 30, inflicts all enemies out uh, attribute downgrades, plus 22 damage received for 20 counts. Um, they're both looking pretty good, pretty solid, and he buffs tag God Key, or episode, um, Universe Survival Saga, be strike, attack, and defense. Um, nothing like, I don't think outrageous or anything, but definitely two solid units. Um, we can get into the EX kits right now, probably skim them. I'm assuming they're gonna be, like, huge, uh, support for the Jiren, pretty much, or, uh, maybe that tag. Main ability, can I zoom in? Thank you. Shield of Justice restores ally health by 20%, key by 30. Restores ally tag universe 11, health by 10%, 30% to damage inflicted by al Yeah, he's, uh, he's uh, the um, Topo and the Dispo pretty much remind me of like the Tora and Fasha when the Bardock release. They're pretty much just a team for him that you could basically, if you pull them, you can run them all together. And um, he, he looks like a pretty good support though, 30% to damage inflicted by allies. You're getting health, you're getting key. 40% um, of damage inflicted reduces damage received by 15. Um, following effects occur. This is Topo, by the way. 30% to blast damage. Um, shortens uh, substitution count by 2. Minus strike and blast starts cost. 20% um, of damage inflicted by allies when a character is defeated. Okay. When this character is defeated. So he has that um, death buffs for the team. Following effects occur when this character switches to standby. Uh, randomly draws one new card when you have three for your cards. And then 15% uh, to ally tag universe 11 crit rates. What the heck? Okay, card draw speed. Add three downgrade. 20% to damage received for 15 counts. And then, of course, he busts USS. Okay. So a lot of people were worried about the Jiren because he didn't have really a team. And, uh, personally, I knew he was, like, a start, but, like, you can be, if you pull these units, you, it's gonna be a viable team. Um, depending on stars, obviously, as well, but definitely a, definitely a solid support unit for, um, USS or even that Jiren, specifically. This is the Dispo here. Instant Knockout on the main. Restores own health by 15, key by 40. Destroys all your own cards and randomly draws three new ones. 
Flicks all enemies with no switching. All right, that's that's uh, spooky right there. No, it's only five counts, but still no switching. You can lock them in. Applies the volume effects itself on the character. And so the battlefield draws a blast starts. Resource key by 30. 20% to damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Reduces damage received by 40% for 20 timer counts. 30% to crit rate for... Okay, so both units getting crit rate. Um, oh, this is to self. Yeah, to self. And then unique ability to shorten zone sub count by 2. So a lot of manipulation with sub counts. Crit rate, blast damage. They all seem to be blast oriented uh, for the most part. 70% to damage inflicted when battle starts. Falling effects to uh, occur when this character switched to standby. So more... Um, allied buffs, obviously the Topo and Dispo are buffing the team. 15% 15, 15 to damage inflicted activates twice. 10% to critical and 10% to uh, damage inflicted overall. Um, so this one is doesn't have a limit. This The top one only activates twice. You're getting um, 25 and then you get the, just the 15 after the two switches. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. The green card's nothing crazy. It just... And the blue card, 30% to critical damage inflicted for three timer counts upon activation. So a lot of criticals I'm seeing, a lot of criticals. Um, overall, this could be very, very interesting. Um, I do expect to see, a, it seems to be better synergy. I don't, uh, I didn't pull the Fosha or the Tora, but I've seen some gameplay with them and uh, they, they're okay. They're definitely okay. But this seems like it could be even more dangerous. So uh, yeah, uh, we're going to summon tonight. So Hoping to get, uh, there's the breakdown thumb. And uh, we're hoping to to have some fire luck. If you guys want to pull up, definitely tune in tonight. I'll be live uh, about like an hour before the banner goes live. So I'll catch you guys there tonight. Let me know what you guys think of the new units in the comments. And stay frosty, boys. Mm -hmm.